会的讲员是从那个 Texas 那个 Head c h i l d r e n Hospital， 呃，他的资料很丰富 ，OK， 不是不是不是我们大家好好听，因为他专门要讲那个遗传方面的基因方面，我觉得非常资料非常丰富，所以我们再忍耐十五分钟让他来讲，是 Doctor Scalia， Scalia， 他他是那个呃那个 Texas c h i l d r e n Hospital 的教授。那今天很难得，他今天来跟我们做一个简单介绍。OK。啊，早安，啊，早上，啊 ，Good morning。啊，对，啊 ，I'm Yang Dr. Fernando Xiaoyan. Um, as you can see there, I'm a professor at the Department of Molecular and Human Genetics at Baylor College of Medicine, um, and I'm a physician at Texas Children's Hospital. And if you can advance the next slide, yes. yeah. So I will focus, uh, obviously, on the clinical mission at Texas Children's Hospital. And as you can see in this slide, uh, Texas Children is a Texas is a BCM affiliated or Baylor College of Medicine affiliated hospital. If you go to the next slide. Uh, so who are we? I mean, who we are? We are a uh, non-profit healthcare organization. Uh, our mission encompasses uh, global health for women and children in areas of patient care, research, and education. Um, currently, it has been ranked by US News and World Report as number one pediatric hospital in Texas and number three in the country. Okay, let me give you a comparison. He the Texas Children's Medical University is a non profit organization. 他现在在全德州是最棒的一个儿童医院，他针对的是治疗女妇女跟那个小孩。那全美国他是排名第三的儿童医院。Uh, also, Texas Children has created the nation's first um, uh, HMO for children, which is called Texas Children's um, Health Plan. 他们是，我刚忘记讲，他们还还自己有开的一个就是、uh, Texas Children Health Plan， 就是专门是做那个保险的一个，是保险的。Uh, and it has the largest pediatric primary care network in the nation. And in the building attached to Texas Children's Hospital is Texas Children's Pavilion for Women. And this facility provides extensive pregnancy, childbirth, and reproductive health services that are centered on high-risk birth. And the next, in, in this current slide, I mean, we focus on uh, three locations. The main campus location, where there is an emergency center, and it's the largest pediatric center in South Central Texas that provides emergency care for children, and also the comprehensive services with all our subspecialty clinics. 他说，他现在介绍说，他们德州儿童医院哈有三个地方，最主要的地方呢就是 main campus 在那个医学中心啊。And then there are like two relatively recent additions in addition to the main campus, the the Texas Children's Hospital at the Woodlands, and then the unit at the West Campus. In the Woodlands, as you can see, there is an inpatient hospital and an emergency center, and over 20 outpatient clinics. Um, and uh, and also there are other clinics that actually cover the north side of town and the woodlands, and then in the west campus an emergency center and an outpatient and subspecialty clinic. He now has the Texas Children's Hospital in the Woodlands, in the Katy's, also has a clinic. So he has 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 clinic. Uh, this really is more like a diagram of the of how all these facilities are located and connected, but at the main campus. This does not include Woodlands or, or West Campus. And as you can see, uh, the clinics are located, the outpatient clinics at main campus are located at the Wallace Tower. This is the 
And there are bridges that actually connect to the inpatient units at the West Tower and Abercrombie Building and the intensive care units at the Legacy Tower. And there are also bridges that actually connect uh, Texas children with the Pavilion for Women and the recently opened Tower 2. So this is this is actually a list of resources for the main campus where you can go to um, our website and how you can prepare uh, when you go there with your children for, for the visit. For the visit. Um, there is a resource center that is supported by the Barbara Adams family and there's a team, a patient and family uh, services care team and there's also another division that is willing to support for insurance, billing and financial matters. And also uh, you can download my chart but if that's difficult I and mean, there are many families you know, for whom like English is not the first language and they have difficulties downloading my chart, then the team at the clinics, there is always like a service desk that can help you downloading my chart. That's the portal that you will use to communicate with nurses and physicians and communicate like laboratory results or some of your questions and, and, and queries. And, and finally, you know, communication with medical and health records that we may need to receive from other facilities. Yeah. Um, this in the next slide, you can see the, the, the main campus, the all the resource um, highlights, the child life department, um, girls services, uh, language services. We also have an international patient services, an international office, as, I, as an example now, in one of the um, specialty clinics where I work and collaborate, there will be a child coming from China, referred from a physician there who contacted a physician in Dallas, and of course the family has been in contact with the international office at Texas Children's Hospital. And there are also important contacts there for, uh, we have a spiritual care with a chaplain um, service, social work and palliative care. And um, these are actually these are the contact information, obviously, for the for our main campus. And, um, and this is the address. And then when you can call to schedule, you know, uh, if you are looking for appointments or schedule appointments, and also the the contact information and the location for the emergency center and for the family advocacy services. Uh, and this is the this is the information and the contact information for West Campus uh, and the Woodlands uh, uh, for their uh, outpatient outpatient services and for the clinics. So and now in this last part, in this last two or three slides, actually, we are going to um, cover our specialty services. Um, I mean, uh, I am a part of this department of genetics, and uh, we have the largest clinical genetics clinics uh, in the country. So Texas Children's Hospital Genetics Clinic uh, strives to stay at the forefront of genetic research uh, and while offering families the latest diagnostic and clinical resources available. Um, our physicians, I include myself, we are faculty in the Department of Molecular and Human Genetics at Baylor. We see more than 3,000 families a year. Um, we are 18 board certified medical geneticists. We also have eight board certified genetic counselors, um, two genetic nurse practitioners, two genetic nurses, and now there is an update. We have three metabolic dietitians. 
uh, for our metabolic clinic. Uh, we received more grant support for research from the National Institute of Health than any other genetic department in the United States. Uh, next. <laughs> 它的面积的十万很重要，因为我自己以前看过，我发现这是非常好的资讯给我们，因为它们得做儿童医院很专业专攻的就是那个遗传方面的普遍方面的这个中心，所以它刚刚就在介绍他们在那个这个遗传方面